Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today I'm gonna show or talk about uh, what I saw at PAX and just uh, what I thought of each game. So let's get into it. <clears throat> uh, Batman Blackgate, one of the first games I tried out on the Vita. Uh, first things that you notice is it looks really good. The fighting is great, just kind of like the console version. It has those. Uh, just you hit, I think it, I think it was square, and then you hit like circle or you hit something else to counter at people and it's just like the console version but in a side scroller uh, kind of way uh, the only thing I didn't like is that some of the things are hard to activate like if uh, the game wants you to go and hit a button or uh, take a, a crate and move it or do something it kind of you have to be like perfectly lined up or the button you won't get the button prompt and that was kind of annoying um, Terraria. So this one is the one that's already out on the console. It's the 2D Minecraft kind of game. Um, it looks great. It plays well. Um, I didn't really see anything wrong with it actually. I enjoyed it but I didn't get very much time with it so I'm definitely going to play it a little bit more and see how that is. I'm actually uploading a video right now so if you want to check on the channel you'll see more videos. All right, Tearaway. They had a lot of Tearaway uh, kiosks. I think it was the only game that had multiple kiosks there uh, for the Vita. Um, first off, it, it looks great. Like almost every game I played, you're gonna hear me say it looks great because they all do really look good. Um, it plays very well. Uh, the only thing I didn't like really is that, at least in the demo, I wasn't able to run, so it was kind of it was kind of I don't know, I like the ability to run. It makes me feel like I'm actually trying to get somewhere. <laughs> so I'm sure maybe that's you can get that later on in the game. It, it was just a demo, not being able to run, but who knows. Um, but yeah, once again, there's going to be a video of that coming up soon, so look out on my channel for that. Up next, I played uh, Fez, which is the game that has already been out on uh, Xbox Live Arcade, and that's where it made its first appearance. Um, it looks really good. The only problem is I noticed a little bit of frame rate issues, not major ones, but just enough to be noticeable. So who knows how early it's been in development. So I don't know when it's coming out. So they could easily fix that. It, it wasn't that bad. It was just noticeable. So I thought I'd bring it up. Uh, next, I tried Real Boxing, which I believe is coming out next week. It looks really good, but for me, it plays a little too slow. Uh, and by slow, I mean... Uh, yeah, you're kind of just, you're boxing way too long is what it felt like to me, but it might be a little bit more realistic, that's why it's called real boxing, so if you're into that, go for it. I'm not really a boxing fan, so I might not like it as much as someone else did, but it looks great, so definitely want to look out for if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, next up, I played Runner 2, or the Bit Trip Runner 2 presents, it's a long weird name, but it's already out on uh, console. Uh, plays great. And it looks awesome. Uh, it plays just like the console version, just on a handheld. It looks actually really good. So if you like the console version, the Vita version is going to be great. So that's all I have written down now, but there's more games that I will be playing tomorrow and the days after. So I'll be writing more stuff down and talking about it. So if you have any questions or if there's any games that you think I missed or you wanted me to try out even more and talk about something else in the game, feel free to comment below and let me know. Also, please remember to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and take care. <laughs>